Turn a corner and draw, and go down Sepulveda. There were crowds on the street. Everybody was cheering. They were laughing. It, it was so exciting. And now you can see it right here. Jeffrey Rudolph uh, is the president and CEO of the California Science Center because it is it is going to make just one final trip, right? Not too far away from here. It is going to make one short trip from this side of the Science Center to the other side of the Science Center where we're adding our new addition, the, Cal the Sam Ocean Air and Space Center. Okay, so we're here because uh, it, it is a special day, right? We, we sort of take the first step towards that trip, right? I'm going to take pivot over here because I want to show this over here so you can show us exactly what's happening today. You're, you're, you're starting the process. You gotta, you're, you're sort of piecing it all together, right? Yep, we are. Well, today's actually a significant day as well because Space Exploration Day. Yeah, that's right. It was the day that humans first landed on the moon and took that giant leap. Today, our, our leap is that we're putting the first piece of this space shuttle stack. When we finish in the new Samuel Air and Space Center, this 20-story tall, ready-to-launch space shuttle, the whole system will be there. It's all based on this piece down here, the aft skirt, which is really the foundation of the whole shuttle stack, and it's the only place that the shuttle, this whole thing, attaches to the ground. And you're telling me you gotta get it right, right? Like, this has to be put perfectly in the exact place on it the ground. It has to be absolutely level within one-tenth of an inch, the width of a nickel. And if it isn't, then when you go all the way up here, things will be out of alignment right. and all the rest of the pieces I, won't I fit together. I hope you have some good engineers because if you, if you start building and you're like, oh, we got this is an inch off, we, you got to start all over again. <laughs> we got a great team of folks that worked on the shuttle program from the beginning and uh, uh, they're they're even challenged by this because this has been never been done putting this whole thing together outside of a NASA facility where they'd built all the platforms and everything. I can't doing. imagine what this is going to look like. Take a look at this over here, too. And, and he said 200 stories tall. You can actually look at it from way up above. Looking down at this, this is going to be unbelievable. It is. It's, you know, it's 200 feet from Florida to the top of the, the building here. You'll be able to go up to a glass a deck with a glass platform and look down. You'll be able to look from the bottom up. You can inspect the shuttle at all different levels. It's going to be an amazing experience and really do what we want it to do is inspire the next generation of scientists, engineers. I can see it now. So when it's all done, you're going to walk up uh, to the Endeavor and you're going to almost like walk up like one of the astronauts where you walk up to the shuttle, look up at it and think, I'm going into space. So you're really looking upwards. Yeah, you, you get an incredible view that very few people ever had. You know, the, the astronauts, the ground support crew and a very few VIPs would have had access to go out on the launch pad and see this. No one else has seen it. It's an incredible Site. All right. See, I'm getting goosebumps. The process begins at 9 o'clock this morning. Thank you so much for having us, Jeffrey. And we will be here taking it live as they move those aft skirts into place uh, so that they can begin this process. And by the way, uh, Jen and Aroxia, this will be here in this configuration right now until the end of the year. If you have not seen it, this is actually a really cool way to see it as well. You can go right underneath it. You can see all the tiles. And to think that this has flown 25 missions, 123 million miles. Miles, it really is awe-inspiring. Um, I remember history. being out there covering it as it was moving, <laughs> like in front of me, which was really crazy to see. That was such a big day. The whole city, the, like, the entire community came out to see it move. Yeah, to, to, and, and they had to take all the street lights down, yeah. right? Because wow. the, the, the yeah. wings were, were too wide. And um, the whole city was out flying on that 747 that over the Griffith Observatory. And it was really, really spectacular. The whole city came together for that yeah. moment. Yeah, to see how massive it is in person. Thank yeah. you. It was